Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Enderal. So, um, of course, last episode we explored over there that old, old Yasoth, right? I think, or old Yagoth, something like that. It's a very, um, Cthulhu Mythos type name. Anyways, today it looks like we're going to be heading into Silver Grove, right in that, you know, right in that area. So let's go ahead, I guess and go talk to this guy he doesn't seem to be aggressive so ho there friend what are you doing out here at this time of day in a few hours the bone rippers will come out of their caves and unless you're eager to meet one in person you should see to it that you're far from here when that happens um i see actually i wasn't planning to stay here for long but i'm looking for a small village silver grove ever heard of it or we can ask about bone rippers Let's go ahead and ask about Bone Rippers. I'd like to hear, you know, his input, I guess, on them. <laughs> what? You made it all the way here without ever seeing one of them? Lucky you. <laughs> they are beasts, as big as trolls and as swift as tigers. They sleep through most of the day, but at dusk they usually come out to look for prey. And, unfortunately, they have gotten a taste for human flesh. I see. Actually, I wasn't planning to stay here for long, but I'm looking for a small village. Silvergrove. Ever heard of it? Heard of it? I guess you could say that. Behind these gates is the Valley of Silvergrove. And... Hmm. You know what? Actually, I was just about to close the gate for the night. But if you're looking for our village anyway, why don't you just come in? I won't open them again until tomorrow noon, but that should be enough time for you to finish whatever business you have here. My dame Thalar's banana grog is a blast, if that helps you decide. What, you're just going to let me into your village? Isn't that a little careless? Or fair enough, then I'll come lead the way. Um, we'll say fair enough. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, well, let's say. I, he might give us another quest or something. Uh, is it? I think trust has to start somewhere, doesn't it? And I've got a good gut feeling about you. That has to be enough for starters. Fair enough, then. I'll come. Lead the Glad way. Glad to hear it. Follow me. Alright, so it's a valley, then. It's not just a town. The Valley of Silver Grove. They may have mentioned that before, but I must have missed it. Pull the lever, Seraph. Alright, then. Here we are. You'll find our village if you just follow that road down there. At least to the grove. You can hardly miss it. It's a really nice place. I bet you'll like it there. Since that boy found the silver vein in the grove, we live like the Lightborn do in Inadan, really. So I guess this is farewell, isn't it? Unless you have questions. Yes, I do actually. You mentioned a boy who found a silver vein? Well, you know, Silver Grove wasn't always as nice a place as it is now. Back in the old days, it was quite harsh, actually. But then, some traveler came by and left us with a small boy. It's the boy. He had a terrible disease, and I suppose that's why the guy just abandoned him. I don't know how someone can be that heartless, but it was probably for the best. Ulbar adopted him, and... Hmm, when exactly was that? Four years ago, the boy found a silver vein while he was playing in a small cave near the grove. And, well, from then on the wealth just flowed in pretty much by itself. Come to think of it, I don't want to imagine what this place would be like without the little fella. His name is Rhaenaeus, or at least, that was the name stitched on the blanket that Stranger left him with. Who knows, maybe you'll see him for yourself. He's quite popular. Interesting, what about this disease you were talking about? <laughs> I'm no apothecarius, but he had these tumors all over his face, and his left leg was entirely crippled. But just a few moons after Ulbar took him in, he started getting better. The weather, Blackstone. maybe? I don't know. But I'm glad it happened. That boy is a treasure. Anything else? Otherwise, I'm damn ready for a nap. You're the gate guard. One more thing, I had this kind of headache when I entered the valley. Any ideas what could have caused that? A headache? Nah, sorry. Could be the heat. Maybe you were just thirsty. I wouldn't worry too much about it if I were you. Any more questions? No, that'd be all. Thanks for your hospitality. Uh, don't mention it. Walk blessed. Walk blessed. Uh, there's a door, but it requires a key. Okay. 
This place is just like one of those like too good to be true. You know the boy's not just gonna be like, oh yeah, here's my black stone. You can just have it. This goes to the powder desert. Ah, come on, bars. And on up to the powder desert again. Okay. Well, guess what? We're gonna pop on down here. Nothing. Nothing at all. So, down that direction is the village, right? Where does this direction lead? Or is it down this direction? This looks more like a village would be. And there's something down there that looks like a giant dog. What is that? Maybe it's just the way the rocks are shaped because it looks like it could be that. But it almost looks like a big beast's head right there. And then like legs. I think it's just the way the rocks are. But it, I don't know. It's one of those things that looks like a big beast. Which would be fine by me. Okay. Is it... Well, he did say go down the path. So this probably isn't... Might. Okay, we got potions and blueprints and stuff. The Silver Oasis. So, okay. Yeah, there's the village. Okay. I'm going to wait to go up here. This place looks really cool, but I'm going to hold off just in case it's tied to the, you know, the quest or something like that. Which, chances are it is. With a name like the Silver Oasis. And I guess we'll go down here instead then. What do we got here? Date. Love how I just robbed these shrines. Everybody leaves all this stuff, I'm just like, okay, I'll take it. It's like whenever people throw like change in a fountain and like make a wish or whatever. Like you just come around and just take it all. Yeah. See it still looks like a big beast to me. Like sure that you guys can see it. It's just a rock, but that looks like a beast's head or something. I don't know. Pow! Pow! Why did I get a Pow! Pow! <laughs> okay, I think where we're actually supposed to be going is right through here, though, so I was getting some little, almost sidetracked. I held myself back. I do like this place a lot. It's really lush for being just out in the powder desert, you know? Of course, some of those places near the water. Moonglow Meadow is the name of this place. I guess we'll head off in this direction. It's very empty, like there's nobody here. The Old Noria. This must be the water wheel, I bet. And they put out uh, potions and gold for me. But this, this isn't very promising, in fact. Let's, uh, maybe it fell off there. That's a little bit more concerning. I wonder if that's his... I don't know. Let's say, I wonder if that's where he lives. Like that little boy. Like, for having all this money from the silver mine, like, their town still looks, like, really ran down. That place right there doesn't look foreboding at all, either. Okay. Where should I go? Bananas! More penny coins. Like, people just, like, throw penny coins here, like, all over the place. They're like, oh, there's a, there's a statue, let me throw some penny coins on it. Oh, there's a fountain? Let me throw some penny coins in it. Oh, there's a door? Let me throw some penny coins on it. Like, everywhere. Okay, what about down here? Oh, there's people here. Okay. That must be like the ancient part of the village. And this is a little bit newer, I guess. Oh, this leads up. I bet this connects up to... Maybe that old silver vi uh, my mine. The Silver Oasis or whatever. Okay. All these doors require a key. Require a key. 
There's the barracks. Penny coins? No, no penny coins. <laughs> Figured they would have, uh... That statue should be covered in penny coins. They pass by like every day. Alright, let's check out the barracks. Uh, crusty bread. Wow, none of this stuff counts as stealing either. Like, personally... Oh, penny coins! There's a plate! Throw some penny coins on it. Um... And this is the barracks. They have, like, a whopping three guards. <laughs> there was also, like, three swords on the wall and stuff, so... They need a bit more of a militia if they've got all this silver. Right for the stealing. The warehouse. Okay. Um, I had this stinking suspicion, though, that... Cool. Just rats in the warehouse. Um... Throw some penny coins in there. Pyrian helmet. Pan of potion. None of this stuff counts as stealing. It's bizarre. But I have this thinking suspicion that the village is probably not going to take kindly to me coming up in here and trying to take away their treasure boy. Alright? Or really not take the boy away, but you know, take the black stone. Walk. Walk. Bless. I'm sure I have. Just what you need. I'm sure you do. <laughs> You're so poor. For people that throw penny coins on everything, you guys have no money. I'm just gonna sell him potions <laughs> Good until all his money is and gone. Safe travels. Hey, you're an adventurer, aren't you? Until I took an arrow to the knee. A lot of stories to tell. Sir. Apparently, the village was. Hello. Maybe the village was like sleeping before, because now everybody's coming out of the woodworks. Yes. Um, that door doesn't even open. Rhineus's house. That's the house that we're supposed to be going into. Silver Grove discovered. Okay, there's Rhineus's house. I don't know if I want to head straight in there. I mean, this village. Somewhere. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? I don't think I've seen you here before. No, I'm from the outside. Could you by chance help me find my way around here? Um, sure. Why not? But you'll have to be a little more specific. What exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for a place to buy equipment, armor, weapons, and the like. Yeah, we'll say that. Merchant? Hmm. I take it you've already seen the Silent Moons Inn. Tahara probably can't offer you more than provisions, but I'm sure she won't say no if you're looking to sell. Then there's Robach and his little ship on the outskirts of the village. And finally, Oliel in the marketplace. Not much, I know, but we don't get visitors here very often. Okay. Uh, do you know any places around here that are worthwhile for an adventurer? Hmm. You could take a look at the ruin near the oasis, or the one on the beach. That is, if you know how to fight off the wild animals around there. But I don't know, do, do you really think that's a good idea, risking your life for some filthy lucre? I don't know. Yes, I do. Um, do you happen to know where I could find a boy named Raneus? I was told he lives here, he lives Raneus. in the house. Of course I do. A great lad, really. Did you know we owe all of our wealth to him? Without him, this place would be nothing. Ah, I'm rambling again. If you're looking for him, he and his father live on the next-to-last house on the cliffside of the village. Okay. Yeah. Safe travels. Well, his voice just changed. Safe travels! Okay, I'm gonna have a quick peek around this village and see... There's Gela's house. I'm gonna slip inside this place. Of course, it may not even be, like, wrong to break into people's houses here. I have no clue. But honestly, considering that they throw penny coins on everything, <clears throat> I think it would be okay. They can deal without a little bit of their wealth. Look, a shelf! Throw penny coins on it! There's the tavern. I guess we'll pop into here. Maybe there'll be some quests to be had or something. Butter. Alright. Villager, tavern customer, bard. That's just how it is. If these people aren't all visitors to the town, 
Why are they all in the bar like the middle of the day? A game. Walk blessed, walk blessed, and welcome to Silent Moon's Inn. You're not from around here, are you? How can I help you? Um, I need to stock up on my provisions, have anything. Uh, Silent Moon's Inn. I'd like to know a little bit more about your village. It seems quite peaceful. Yeah, we're going to say that. Yes, you're right. I haven't been on the outside for ages. And honestly, I don't plan to change that anytime soon. Most of this place's beauty is owed to the river that comes from the mountain. There's a nice little legend about how it came to be. Care to hear it? Sure, go ahead. All right, then. I'm sure you already saw the ancient ruin near the waterfall, didn't you? It is said that once a wealthy couple of Sublime Path lived there. They were tired of the mainland's never-ending troubles and thus moved here, which is an odd choice, especially considering that before the oasis grew, this place was little more than dust and sand. But nevertheless, they did, and they hired the best craftsmen in Doomville to build them a home here. Fruit, bread, and water had to be brought here weekly. Lavish, but it worked. After a couple of years living there, the woman gave birth to a child, Sineri, a healthy boy, young and strong. Only six months after his birth, he already knew how to speak and walk. It all seemed as if the family would lead a happy life there for years to come. But then, something strange happened. The Myrads stopped coming. Days passed, weeks, and finally, moons. No matter how long they waited, they just wouldn't come. And slowly but surely, their provisions would run out. The route to Duneville was far too perilous to be traveled alone, so they were trapped. We will die here, the father said as they sat together one day, he and his wife emaciated and weak, since they saved all the food that was left for their son. Soneri was desperate. He screamed, cried, and asked the gods for help, but he was powerless. One gray, desolate morning, it was over, and both his mother and father were dead. Weakened and starving himself, the son then stood in front of his beloved parents' bodies, fell to his knees, and whispered, Why is this happening to me? What have I done to deserve such cruelty? And he started crying. And then, a miracle happened. As the first tears reached the dusty ground, a flower started sprouting, and only a second later, it was fully grown. Then grass, and then, just like a flood, a wave of life crashed through the dusty valley, and everywhere, wonderful plants and trees came into being. <laughs> And finally, before the boy had even realized what had happened, a stream of water crashed through the rock. And as Soneri lay there, his body fragile and his eyes wet, he realized what he had done without understanding how. He smiled, closed his eyes, and died. Well, that's it. According to the legend, the grove has been the way it is now ever since then. So, how did you like the story? <laughs> nice story, but uh, corny if you ask me. Or it was wonderful, thanks for telling me. I'm going to say it's wonderful. I actually enjoyed that story a lot. The ending was like... <laughs> I thought the boy was going to keep living there, right? Like, he just made all this water and stuff, and all these plants are here. So I figured he was going to survive here or something. Nope, he just died. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. It was one of my favorite stories when I was younger, despite the ending. Yeah. Uh, Silent Moon's Inn, that sounds a little saintly for an inn. <laughs> yes, I won't argue with that. And do you want to know something bizarre? I don't have the slightest idea why my companion and I chose the name back in those days. The memory seems a little... blurry. Unreal. Huh. But I guess that was due more to the brandy than anything else. Hmm. I need to stock up on my provisions. Sure do you do. have anything? And you know what? Take this on the house as a welcoming present. It's a handmade date cake. 
the best in the entire desert. We don't get visitors too often. Well, I'll take it. Probably when I'm stealing your little boy away, then I can use that. Once again, I can't really sell much of anything here. I'll sell a few things that I don't really need. There's a ladder here. I think this probably goes to the room that you can rent, so I'm not too, too concerned about that. But we'll head on outside and see what else we can find in this village. And there's not a whole lot left. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. Commander Aaron, you mean? Why? Nothing to be scared of, I'm sure. <laughs> At least it didn't sound like it would be. Just report to her after the next muster, all right? Huh. All right, will do. Thanks for telling me. Don't mention it. Take care of yourself, boy. Hmm. I'm trying to find, like, secret meaning. I just don't trust these people all that much. Here's Samael's house. We'll pop into there. That's that guy that gave us directions and everything. Okay, it may not be that bad. He maybe is just a butcher. But when I walk in here and I see that, bouncing around, shovels falling off the walls, there's blood all over the bench, I get a little bit concerned, um, honestly. I don't think there's anything wrong with the place. But I did <laughs> when I first walked in here. That mortar is, uh, mortar and pestle is like sticking off the table there. And so is that cow. Everything is like all lopsided. Huh. Alright. Anyways, can I cook anything on the hearth? Maybe? V -v 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 Vegan soup! Wow, roasted beef, 900 seconds of saturation. That iron bar is like, super annoying. Okay, we got a silver amethyst ring from this expert jewelry box. Oh, cheese wheels, I will take those. All right, more cheese wheels. I'm stealing all these dates. Might as well, right? I was hoping for a secure chest. There may be one somewhere, I haven't found it as of yet, but. Um, who knows? There's Samael. I just robbed your house, buddy. Like, it just feels like they don't care at all. Like, they're just like, you can have it. That leads down to the beach. They said there was a shop. And that one guy's ship. I'm assuming it's off in that direction. Like, on the outskirts. Maybe? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops! I thought I was gonna land on that beam. Okay, this is Robox General Store. I thought they said that was, uh... Well, Have now that I think heard? about it. Apparently, Rhineos' father patched up this weird sphere his boy found in the old ruin. Yeah, I heard about it. What's it good for? Well, I don't understand that myself. But Tahara said that some people from Ark would pay hundreds for that thing. Old Starling Craft, that's what she said. Pah. <sighs> Too bad they'll never get their hands on it. They'd only use it to make some killing machine out of it. By the righteous path. How glad am I to live here and not in that stinking hole of a city. Tell me about it. Anyway, I have business to do. Take care. Yes, you too. I don't know if that's his wife or just like a friend. Like a, a customer or something. Alright. A stranger in our village. Now that's quite a sight. So, allow me to greet you properly. Welcome to our beautiful home. I hope you enjoy your stay here. These people all have like rose-tinted glasses, I swear. I'd like to see your wares. Sure. Like, it's just, it's one of those like, just way too picturesque to be real, you know. Wow, this guy has a lot of money. I like this guy. All right, let's vendor things. Let us vendor things. Um, I should have Dagger of the Righteous Fire Wrath. Do not need that. Sell it. Shadow Stitch, I want to keep that. All these staves. 
Oh. There went all his money, like in one swift swoop. <laughs> Just all his money's gone. Okay. We have a lot of gold, though. We have like nearly 20,000. Um, I guess that's the best I can do, honestly, at the moment. Hopefully we'll come across a secure chest, because I can put a lot of this stuff up. But yeah, I have a feeling that they're not going to be happy about me taking that from the boy. I just don't foresee it. Because I don't foresee the boy being like, Sure, here's my stone. I'll just take that disease right back. But, of course, I don't know how old this boy is either. Surely he's got to be at least decently old if he found a silver vein, right? Alright, Rania's house. Rania's, Rania's house. That is a ginormous rocking horse. That's like the, an adult-sized rocking horse. I'll just take your bread that you were about to eat for dinner and all this stuff. I love how nothing in this town is stealing. Well, except for the shop. The shopkeeper shop. You know, everything was stealing like it should be, but everybody else is just like, here, take our stuff. Why do these people kill all the animals in their house? Like, who does that? Look at the size of this rocking horse. This is like an adult-sized rocking horse. That's daddy. Really? Hello? What? Who are you? Can I help you? What the? Father? Er, I'm looking for a boy named Reneas. I take it you're his father. We're gonna try to keep our cool. Uh, I'm looking for Reneas. Foster father. But yes, I am. Why do you ask? Do you know Reneus? No, not personally, but I need to speak to him. It's urgent. Is it? Well then, be my guest. His room is just through that door over there. I think he's reading at the moment, but he always likes company. This just got really... Really weird. All right, we can either say, all right, thank you, one more thing. Is it true that Rhaenys recovered from his disease? Or I say, what's your story? How come you took him in? Life in these parts of Enderal must be harsh, even without a child to take care of. Or, huh, and you're just going to let me, a complete stranger, roam through your house. You people around here sure are trusting. Let's ask about his story first, before I irritate him, asking why he's so trusting. Hmm, you sure ask a lot of questions, my sir. But okay, why not? You know, I'm a widower. My companion and I always wanted to have a foster kid before Reneus. But as you said, life here was harsh, especially before Reneus discovered the silver veins. Frankly, we barely had enough to eat ourselves, and there weren't exactly a lot of orphans around here to take in either. Well, when my companion died, I was occupied with my thoughts, as you can imagine. Flesh maggots. There was nothing I or the apothecary could do for him. And Reneus appeared out of nowhere. Blunt knife. I saw him and I just... I don't know. How could I just leave him there? What kind of person could? It was demanding at first, to say the least. Especially with his condition. But even then, I never regretted it. Not for a second. Maybe it's a way of honoring the memory of my companion. I don't know. In any case, I'm glad it all happened like it did. Here in Silvergrove, we are all one big happy family. And every day, I can feel how happy Reneus is, knowing that we all accept him and love him, no matter what. Hmm. Yeah, his companion, I think, was a guy, because he... He said the flesh mag maggots took him. So, I'm just saying, I assume that... That's what he means is his companion was killed by flesh maggots. So, alright. And you're just going to let me, a complete stranger, run through your house? <laughs> yes, maybe we are. But you know, trust has to start somewhere. And in my experience, it is always rewarded. We have never had any problems with new people in Silvergrove. Never. And I have a hunch that's not about to change now. Okay. I'm going to take your kid's little black stone and take it back to the evil city. Alright, thank you. One more thing is, is it true that Reneus recovered from his disease? Well, 
You sure know a lot about my boy, considering that you've never seen him before. But yes, it's true. He's as healthy as a horse, and has been for quite some time now. For some reason, those tumors he had started healing shortly after he arrived here. And no, I don't know why. And frankly, I'm not sure I want to. Some questions are better left unasked, as the saying goes. But you know what? Even if that miracle hadn't happened, it wouldn't have made a difference. Not here in Silver Grove. We would never have abandoned him like the ones who brought him here did. Reneus has a good heart, and that's all that matters. Okay. Even if he just looks like my dad, which he, I'm, I don't think he is, I don't think, because like I had a mom. That was the main thing about him having a male companion and I was wondering about is he, at first I thought, well, maybe I'm actually Reneus or something, you know, but now I, I don't think so because like I had a mom and sister and stuff. Um, but the fact that he looks like my dad doesn't bother me as much as the fact that his name is daddy <laughs> i think that bothers me more than anything because i keep looking at him and he'll look at me and it's just talk to daddy <laughs> all right so that must be Renaeus's room i want to check out daddy's room okay now tell me, I think this is a little bit backwards. The daddy lives in a closet. Reneus lives in this huge monster of a room. With butterflies everywhere. Reneus turned into a dog. He's got a rocking horse! Why are you making another rocking horse? And I'm not gonna talk to your son. Okay. Well, there he is, little creeper. Yeah, I see you too. Butterfly in a glass. Butterfly in a glass. Let's take them all. Blank papers. I can use these butterflies in a glass to decorate my house. Okay, that goes to the silver oasis. Sorry, kid. I'm uh, I'm robbing your room right now, Thoris. He likes butterflies. All right. Hello, Reneus. Whoa there. You gave me a start. Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Whoa there. <laughs> That's not very surprising. I'm from Ark. Ark? That's way out there, isn't it? Then you must be very happy to. Hey, Thoris. What are you doing? Oh, Blazes. That's my favorite toy. You, uh, you look as if you can run fast. Can you catch Thoris for me and get my teddy back? If you don't, I'm sure he will bury it somewhere in the sand. And I'll never get it back then. All right. Uh, I guess I could try. Sure. Could you? Man, that's really nice of you. Then run, quickly, before he's gone. All right, I'm going to take your butterflies in a glass. All your butterflies in a glass are mine. Look. There's a table. Throw penny coins on the kid's table. What does the kid need penny coins for? What is this? Some kind of ritualistic dance. He's summoning the devil. Alright, let's go chase down this dog. This just makes me think of one of those, like, you know, those idealistic places that are way too idealistic. I need to keep on Thoris's tail until I somehow get him into a dead end. Good thing I have stamina for like a year of running. <laughs> Greetings. Hey. Hey. I guess I'll just run him right back. Nope. Greetings. Okay. Well, now would be the time to just grab that teddy bear. I think Thoris is broken. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. Nope. <laughs> Give me that teddy bear. Okay. I'm going to reload. Maybe... 
Maybe I broke Thoris. I was running too fast. See, Thoris keeps hitting that guard and then just running right back. Once he came. Is he supposed to do this? Like a madman? Just back and forth? There we go. Now he's going in the correct direction, I guess. Yes. Oh, where are we going, Thoris? Notice if I take off sprinting through here, like my FPS drops a little bit. No, he's not escaping from me. I'm right behind him. Okay. There we go. Give me that back. Okay. We'll take this back to Reneus. Oh, I thought we were going to come in on some like weird stuff going on or something. Okay, kid. There you are. So, did you catch him? Yes. I did. You found it? Show me. Yes, that's him. Wow. Can push all of us. That was just awesome. Thank you. Retha and Gages will be so jealous when I tell them that I have a friend like you. You are my friend, aren't you? You're making me a little bit uncomfortable, kid. Yeah, I guess so, Reneus. There's something for which I might need your help. Think you could answer a couple questions for me? Or listen up, boy. I'm not here to play hide and seek. I'm here looking for something. Understood? Yeah, we'll tell him we're his friend. Questions? Sure. You help me, and now I'll help you. He likes That's that. That's what friends do, isn't it? Please tell me this is going to be my new companion. <laughs> You've got an awful lot of books around here. Can you read? That's unusual for a child your age. Yeah, I'm going to say, can you read? Um, is it? I don't know. Daddy taught me how to read very early. And I just love it. Books are like, like pictures you can enter whenever you want. When I'm older, I want to write them too. Why does everybody hold their throat like that? Like they gotta put their vocal cords in the right place or something. How old are you? I thought you were older. Um, I don't know. I think I'm seven. Yes, that's it. Seven years old. So, you don't actually know... Because his dad made it sound like he dropped him off a long time ago, I thought. Just young forever. Okay, I was told you were very sick when you were younger. Can you tell me anything about that? Sick? Yes. I think I was. But that was a long time ago. I can hardly remember. I had these bumps all over my face. And they itched all day long. And whenever I wanted to walk, I had to walk funny. Because my right leg was always swollen. But it just went away when I got older, and now I can run faster than even Gages. And he's quick, let me tell you. Why don't you go catch your own dog? Why do you make me do it? Do you know where you're from? I mean, originally. Where I'm from? What do you mean? You're an urchin child. More precisely, you're from Ark yourself. Your real father told me where to find you. Uh, forget it, let's talk about something else. Yeah, we're gonna say forget it. Uh, if you say so. Uh, you collect butterflies? Not anymore, I took them all. Yeah, I do. They're so beautiful, aren't they? You know, here in Silver Grove, we have them in so many more colors than the outside does. Daddy told me that once. I catch them, put them into a jar for a day or two, so that I can draw them, and then I free them again. You know, the daddy's name was never mentioned, I don't think. It may have been, I may have just missed it, but I, I want to say they referred to him as daddy this entire time. <laughs> this might sound a little odd, but I need your help to find something. A gem, a black stone. A stone? But what would you want with a stone? I'm sort of like a treasure hunter. Now, do you know anything about it? Or I need it to prevent something bad from happening. Let's put it that way. Now, do you know anything about it? 
Let's say we we need to prevent something bad. Hmm. Okay. Yes. I think I know which stone you're talking about. And yes, I can show you where it is, but only under one condition. Give me your soul. <laughs> Lad, my patience has its limits, and if you know where the stone is, just tell me. Or all right, if that's what it takes, what's this condition? Yeah, we're gonna say what's the condition. That we make a bargain. That's what you grown-ups call it, isn't it? A bargain? He's gonna ask for my soul in exchange for the black stone. Or like a leg or something. We do, and what kind of bargain are you talking about? It's simple. You grant me three wishes and I show you where the stone is. Grant you three wishes. What do you... What do do you mean? Well, I can ask for three things that you have to do for me. And don't worry, it will be fun. You'll see. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Makes me think of that movie, and I can't I can't think of the name of the movie. I remember seeing it. And I remember on the commercials, the woman walks into the room, and there's, like, the little girl with the blanket over her head. And she's like, what have you done with my daughter? And she's like, I am your daughter. I don't know, it was from a few years back, but that's what this kid makes me think of. Uh, fine, why not? Three wishes for the stone, or fine if you insist. Three wishes, and you show me the black stone in return. Yeah, we'll say fine, why not? Awesome. Trying to be nice to him. I knew you would say yes, and we can start right away. Woo! Just come down to the beach in a few minutes. Okay. Meet Reneas at the beach for fulfilling the first wish. It looks like he's down there by that box. He runs fast. Like, why doesn't he catch his own dog if he runs that fast? I was, honestly, I was expecting, like, a, at least a sickly child. I knew they said he got better, like, the tumors and stuff like that. But I was like, still expecting him to be, like, semi-sickly. But he's, like, I don't know, bouncing full of energy. And, like, his skin's, like, pure white. And... <laughs> cool. Is that Daddy? Am I hanging... One more time. The left switch makes it go faster. The right one starts it. You got it? Yeah. Thanks, Daddy. You're the best father in the whole world. And you are the best son. But look who came. I will leave you two to it, okay? And remember, don't steer it toward the village. You don't want anyone getting hurt. Have a good time, you two. Hey, that was quick. So, are you ready? It will be a blast. I promise. As ready as I can be, I suppose. So what are we doing? <clears throat> okay. Actually, it's really simple. Do you know how to shoot a bow? Nope. Never shot a bow in my life. <laughs> uh, no. Actually, I'm a horrible marksman. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna say I do, yes. I knew it! Awesome! So, now look. Okay. This almost sounds like it's gonna be a little bit of fun. Training arrows. I thought the boat was gonna move. Ta da! Isn't it awesome? That's a starling sphere! Daddy found it in the old ruin down by the beach and put it back together for me. And he said, it's really, really old. Great, isn't it? Impressive indeed. And you said your father just put it back together? I always thought Starling Craft was incredibly complicated. Yes, it is. But Daddy is like a wizard when it comes to fixing things. Every time I break something, he just glues it back together like nothing happened. That's glue. That's a little bit different than a Starling Sphere, I think. I see. So what do you want us to do with that thing? Well, what do you think? We'll try it out. I always wanted to do that, but Daddy said that I'm too young to use a boat. But you aren't. So, that's my first wish. I want you to try out the sphere with me. So he fixes a Starling Craft sphere, and then just <laughs> sets it in there to shoot bows at it. Okay, that sounds doable. How exactly does it work? Easy. You take the bow over there. And I let the sphere fly free. Then you need to aim for it and hit it before I make it land again. Ah, and don't start firing before it is open. 
Otherwise, your arrows will bounce right off. So, are you ready to go? At first, I'll make it fly slowly. But in the second and third rounds, I'll make it go faster. Okay, one question before we start. What do you get out of this? Um, I don't know. I thought it would be fun. And that's what's important, isn't it? That you are happy as long as you are here in Silver Grove. Okay, I see. All right, then. Let's do this. Awesome. Don't worry if you do poorly the first time. We can play as often as you like. If yeah. you're ready, take the ball over there, and I'll start the sphere. All right, child. You're testing my patience now. No, let me... Okay. Take the training bow and arrows. The training arrows... And the training bow. Alrighty, let's go. All right, make it go. One, two, three. Woohoo! Strike. Yeah. Yes, that was awesome. Yes. Five hits. Oh. Okay. Awesome. This is so much fun. I'll make it go faster now. Get ready. One. I can tell you what I could do. I could <laughs> buy of the storm too. Alright. Yay! Good one. Oh. Yes, that was awesome. That's awesome. Okay, that's it. Three hits on that one. I only think I have to get like one, but I did really bad on that though. Wow, that was crazy. Come, let's see how fast it can go. On my mark. One, two, and go. I want to see what happens if I pop Eye of the Storm just out of curiosity. Is he going to be like, one, two, three? Kata! Kata! Yes, that was awesome. Ten hit, twelve hits. How did that? Wait a second. Fourteen hits. That was awesome. I love how he says that. <clears throat> okay, just massive hits. All right. Wow, that that was incredible. You're really good at this. You know that? I bet the bad guys are really afraid of you. So, what do you say? They don't Another live. round? Maybe you can do even better. Uh, yes, I think I can start again or I think I'm good for now I don't think I'm good unless there's like an extra round or something but yeah sure that must be tiring huh but you did great really I got stamina Thank you for days. playing with me I'll go back to the village and tell daddy that we're done just come back to the house when you're ready to hear my second wish all right okay leave child Meet Rhinaeus in the house. Okay, let me fix my arrows back here. I had steel arrows equipped. You want to see something really cool, kid? Watch this. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I might have hit that rock or something. I think after a certain point, like a certain range, it will not let you hit mud crabs. I try all the time. And I've literally tried like every angle possible here, but... It's like the arrows don't go that far. There we go. Yum. See, if he, if he wanted to see some archery, that's what we should have done. That sphere just kind of floats around my head. That's not... 
not even like a challenge. Okay, um, I do know that it's about wrapping up points, so I think we're going to save the next two wishes for next episode. And then, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're, if the stone is even here. It almost sounds like he, like it's not here, but it's somewhere else, because he knows where, I don't know. Um, if it's here, I don't know, I just wonder what would happen taking the black stone away. Is he going to like burst back into boils and his leg go all like crazy, or, oh, there's stuff over there. Or how that's going to work out. There's a lot of ruins here that I really want to explore. And I would really love a secure chest. That would be great. I need like conjure secure chest. That's what I really need. Just like summon a secure chest there on the ground. Um, I guess I could, might be able to mark and recall. That could be a thing too. I didn't. I don't know. I guess because the rocks collapsed. And I was thinking that maybe. Okay. There we go. So I may go back to Ark between this episode and next and sell off some of the stuff because we've got about 100 pounds free carry weight right now and I know I've got that necklace carrying capacity if I really need it. Uh, of course, ideally, I would like to just keep my bow damage necklace on me. And we have 10 ice claws apparently, so I guess I'll pop all of these. But now we have 548 carry weight. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm enjoying this quest so far even though it is a little bit bizarre, I have to say. Um, I'm curious to see how things play out. The people here are just really, really weird. Very, very weird. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, be sure and hit that like button down below. And go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay up to date on new videos and everything when they come out. Also, I may try to get another video out this weekend, like just an extra one. Um, of course, Sundays I usually don't record a whole lot. It's generally smaller things that I do because I, I do a lot of um, prep work and stuff on Sundays as well as um, some semblance of a day off, sort of. Um, but we'll see. I know this weekend I'm going to be out a bit on Saturday because I'm going out to dinner with my dad. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll see. There might be a video on Sunday, but don't quote me on that. So, um, But anyways, I hope to see you guys next time, and we'll continue on with this. I'm very, very curious to see how things, you know, play out and whatnot. It's driving me insane already. Um, but, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I will see you then.